Hi, welcome to my channel. So I've got a new equipment I bought from Timu. So I'm testing it out on this video. Okay. So I did a poll. Was it a poll? I posted on my community that if I want to make a video on things you have to pack to Canada and was it life in Canada? I don't remember, but I remember the things you have to pack to Canada. And I got really I got a lot of comments saying they want that so that i think that's the most engaged post i have in my community and i'm so impressed and since i don't want to be talking from my head because i'll be making mistakes i made a note that i'll be talking from some will definitely come from my head because i don't think this is enough so now you've gotten your visa or you are assured or you know deep within you that your documents you submitted to IRCC are going to get your visa. The first thing I would say do is start looking for accommodation. I don't know if I've told you guys what I went through. If I have not, then listen. Getting accommodation is kind of difficult. I don't know, it was difficult for me. Um, The day I was coming here, I didn't have a place. I didn't have a room. I didn't have a place to sleep. So I can say I came here not knowing where I was going to sleep. And when I was in Ghana, I took a cloth saying in case I don't get anywhere to sleep, I was going to sleep outside or at the airport. Because I didn't know. I had a I have a cousin here, but I didn't tell her I was coming. So when I got here, I called a friend and he suggested I should um he's in the US. I should Panama. You guys know him already. I've mentioned his name. He suggested I should book an Airbnb. So, and the money I had on me was limited. I don't have money. In that money is my, I was planning, so you come here, you have to pay your first and last month's rent. Plus a guarantor. So if you are lucky, and if you, don't, if you don't take the first and last, they'll make you pay like first two months and then last, if you don't have a guarantor. So, like, I didn't have money. I didn't have money to book an Airbnb. So I called my cousin. And she says she has to talk to her roommate because you can't just break somebody in just like that. That's that's how he is. It's not like Ghana that you can just visit someone if they will agree to me coming there. So then I called her and she said the Uber from I was booking an Uber from the airport too. No one even came to meet me at the airport because I don't know anybody. Hmm, life, me and I've, I've suffered. So I booked an Uber. And the funny thing is, I misplaced my bag. God, I will talk about my airport experience later. And then from that place to my cousin's place, which is in Peterborough, was $120. And she was saying with that $120, I was going to get um, an Airbnb for like three days. And I was like, if I get that Airbnb for three days, after that three days, what's there? Because I've not gotten a room. I'm still messaging people on Facebook. I'm still messaging people on LinkedIn everywhere. No one is minding me because a lot of people are also messaging them. And I don't have a guarantee. I'm new here. How can they trust me? So I thought about it like, no, because I don't know when I'm going to get a place to sleep. If I go for Airbnb three days, after three days, I have to leave. And then where am I going to sleep? I'm going to sleep outside. As I know, let me just book the way and go and sleep at their place. So that aside, that, that's why I'm, I'm making, I don't want this video to be very long. So the most important thing is get a, start looking for a room. Okay, that's one. And two, if you are a hustler like me that no one is going to send you money from the house, even when things are rough, I'll suggest you start looking for a job whilst you are in Ghana. There is a site called indeed.ca. I'll put everything in my description box and I'll give you links. And I'll post names. Um, they have student housing in, let's say if you are going to Waterloo, student housing in Waterloo, student housing in this on Facebook. So if you're looking for a room, I'll put everything in my description box. Start looking for a job if let's say one month before you come you can just send in your applications just put them in you never know one person might just let them know that you are coming um in a month's time and you are hard working blah 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 not, because you always have to do an interview so start looking for a job if you're a hustler like me no one is going to send you money from home okay that's true i'm not coming to read there then i can i even have i can read from my head and then what to pack when i was coming like if you guys have watched my first video about coming to canada 
you know that me i suffered before i got here like god so when you buy your tickets you have two twenty three kgs and a um carry on bag right and me because now my swine is like i was so frustrated um anxious and depressed i brought only one bag and a small bag instead of taking two twenty three kgs i just took one twenty three kg and that small one that they used to go for mountains that small one that's a small carry-on bag so i didn't bring a lot of things because i was so stressed and i wasn't myself when i was coming okay i'm hoping this microphone is working because after recording all this if this thing is not working i'll slap it so i then um let me just check first with the light on so i'll if you are supposed to take two twenty-three kgs on the app um on the flight i beg take two twenty-three kgs don't be like me and pack clothes i was thinking oh when you come to canada there are lots of clothes you can buy clothes clothes are not cheap if a clothes one you can't get clothes for less than five dollars five dollars is like how much 40 cities or 50 cities in ghana which you can buy you can go to kanta or kdt and buy about three t-shirts bring a lot of clothes don't listen to what people are saying that when you come here then 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 it's the jackets that the ones they sell in ghana it's not heavy the jackets that they sell in ghana it's not heavy compared to the winter here the jackets they sell is not heavy so but for clothes um track is it track joggers sweatpants hoodies and those things i'll suggest you buy them in ghana before you come here buy a lot of clothes and then enough local foods because if you are coming here and no one is going to send you money like me and you are going to hustle yourself if you don't bring food you don't bring your gari your milo a couple of indomies um something some dry dry stuff biscuits shemima i brought shemima i brought i think i didn't even pack a lot of food because my bag was full it's not meant to have bought two bags i just bought one because i was i don't know so many things was going on shemima gari indomie milo nido um if you can pack dry fish like the dry fishes things that will not stain your clothes in your bag like dry fishes sugar things to just sustain you for like a month or two because you never when you come here god your mind your mind will plus school will be stressing you then you can't be buying burger and pizza every day you can't be buying burger pizza burger pizza your money will finish and maybe you've not even gotten a job yet so bring your local foods things that are dry dry i was thinking oh, when i get to the airport they're going to remove all my clothes so far as your bag is not above that 23 kg they are not going to check and you have to get there early because i got i was i think i was the first five people to check in so they really they didn't really put any pressure on me but if you are late that's when the pressure because everyone is there and they they get frustrated the airports ladies and guys they get frustrated but if you're early everything is smoothly pack them pack them in a paper bag or something and if you don't it's in case your bag is going to be overweight and you don't want this is what some one woman told me to do that after packing all my things i should put my panties on top of my things because if they open your bag and they in case they have to open your bag and they want to check what's inside when they see the panties on top you know people like mm, i won't touch it i won't touch it so they won't go deep deep into find what's there you understand mm, so that's a trick but i mean they didn't check my bag because i got there early okay i'll end the video here and listen to myself to see if this microphone is working also i've wasted my voice okay i checked and it's still working so i think using my own voice without it is better i think this is low i don't know but i'll keep using it for now the green light is on sure and i think i finished with the back stuff right the next point is buy tickets months before you travel if you have the means you all know how if you thought that video you know how my situation was so i bought the tickets i think three days before my flight and it was almost two thousand dollars so if you have the money the means and you got you get your visa let's say three months before your date just buy your tickets don't wait find any means to buy your tickets and later you figure the money out because 
people promised to buy my ticket for me and they all filled and eventually please be but it for me i am godfather please be but it for me so i think the things you have to pack i've already said everything there's a there's next one i'm going to go to it's very important that one is when you come here you will buy your clothes food bring food listen to me because me i was told but i didn't listen i was told buy a backpack oh i forgot a backpack school bag i was told to bring my told the woman that my mom has given me a bag handbag so that's what i have to do class on sabbath buy a backpack clothes food like fill your bags that 23 kg bag the two of them make you full 23 kg pepper don't let it be overweight if it's 23.5 you'll consider 23 23 and you're carrying on you can put other things so fill your bags and i think you guys can see my face when i came you can go and watch my first video this was in my face look at my face mm. the weather i thought oh babu chair your skin will be nice look at me ghana was way way better than this when i came i was using my cocoa butter and this place is dry the water is dry my skin became like a snake it was so dry it doesn't work that cream that we use in ghana it doesn't work i don't think it works and me i've been using my lotion for face and body i didn't know that we have to we have body cream and we have face cream it was when i came here that i i was reading but now i'm breaking out so bad and i've been looking at a lot of things See, my hands are shining my face is shining and i'm going to buy some review products and i'm hoping i'll stop breaking out and then I, after that i can treat my pimples when you come here i'll suggest once you start working and get enough money you change your cream and start using creams from here maybe normal my skin is normal to dry so i use normal to dry CeraVe facial moisturizer and some things i'm hoping it works i started about two three weeks ago and let's see i don't know what the hype is about because i'm not seeing any effect yet maybe with time so when you come you should change your cream that cocoa butter skin lights it doesn't work here yeah so i've already said the clothes the foods cream bring enough clothes bring enough food <laughs> and look for jobs even before don't get to canada before you start looking for jobs look for jobs before you come it's very important you and what is it? your tickets buy it way 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 before you come let me still check on this thing. and <clears throat> i have a friend that will be coming soon hopefully he's got in school so he's doing his first i think i don't know what he's doing but it doesn't involve me yet so i'm sure he will be coming and he asks if there is a ghanaian community so i think he expects that when you come you come and fall into a community that will be doing everything for him he'll be sitting in his chair and be relaxing princess you do everything yourself people are here that will be helping you but this place time is money nobody will leave what they are doing to come and help you so don't think that oh me buy a Ghana for her Ghana for her unless you have a family member but if it's just random people like this don't expect that you put all your worries on them and they'll do everything you want for you okay try and try and try and try do things yourself because there is no Nigerian community there are communities but when I was coming there were a lot of people that were helping me to get a room trying i know people tried going taking their cars and i told them that oh i found a place that they would drive and go there try to look for this but eventually they didn't i didn't get it in the end <coughs> i found a place by myself i got the room by myself so yeah you get people that will maybe you are in ghana you're saying go do this do this what if they are saying oh i went there, i didn't see anything what if they didn't go how you know so try and do everything by yourself this place we call here do it yourself you go and buy a bed you arrange it yourself you don't have carpenter to come and carpenter your bed for you everything you do it yourself nobody is come to help you so try and try and try and do things yourself and the ladies please and please when you come the men they will worry you the married especially the married ones those are the ones that are even dangerous the married ones so be careful don't let people take advantage of you this place they don't pay two 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 six two two dollars 
don't let anybody take advantage of you because they helped you because they helped you get a place because they bought um food for you don't let anybody take advantage of you okay that's what i'm saying try and do things by yourself because they will come they are not good people some are good I have a Ghanaian, <coughs> some Ghanaian friends i go to they are so good can go there for banku can go for there for kinky when they are doing food they'll call me and i'm going eat yeah but some others yeah the things they are doing for you there is a notion behind it that eventually they have to do something with you and it's not nice i don't know why they are like sometimes i feel so disappointed like ah why are you doing this so do you have to always do something for someone and expect something in return why can't you do things freely how much is life and <clears throat> if you don't i think this would be my last point i think i've said everything if you don't take care someone will scan you especially when you're looking for the house if someone tells you that pay this deposit before i can even let you see you <coughs> sorry view the house as a scam if you have someone that can look at the place for you even if you are in waterloo yeah if you are coming to waterloo and you have found a place and you want someone to do for you you can message me and then i'll go and view the place for you but if someone told you that send me money deposit three hundred dollars two hundred dollars before you can view the place it's a scam they've been scamming people so don't do it tell them that you are not interested in anyone that is a scam okay until you see the place until you give someone has seen the place don't pay anything and if you with that because you are not here you can find it i know a friend that is money that is in manitoba that talked to the analyst that he is coming blah 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 and when she when he comes you pay her. and god being so good the woman understood and now when he came to it was when he came to canada that he paid for the rent first and last he did she the person didn't take money when um he was in ghana so just pray that you have luck and there will be so much so many people calling you and telling you that hi this transaction the same thing they do in ghana hey since they knew we're landing they do that here they'll tell you that hi your account is ying, 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 ying. send you a link you tap your money is gone all your money will be gone or somebody will post something on their site on a job site they're looking for a virtual power assistant they will you will chat with them with 600 dollars a week i saw one recently and i knew it was a scam and i was just using him to while away time we were texting did me an interview come on come on come on they'll do everything come on come on you think it's true so your first job they'll tell you that take go and check go and use this check to cash out something and buy something and then send it to them it's online so you buy it and tell them that they should deliver to their location when you scan the check with your bank app the money will deduct from your own instead of money depositing because then you scan a check the money should the, the money on the check should deposit into your bank account or rather deduct because it's a wrong transaction and then they will get their product because you already bought the thing for them so beware of scam and spam calls okay so i think this will be the end of the video i've talked too much i don't like talking too much it makes the video so long but as i said i'll put everything i said in the description box because i know some of you don't watch till the end so guys thank you for watching please like share subscribe we are almost at thousand subscribers and that is not all after thousand subscribers i have to get four thousand watch hours so it's either i make more videos for you guys to watch or you guys should go and watch my old 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 videos so that i can get that four thousand watch hours and start getting money from youtube okay thank you very much for watching bye